Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the Phoenix TK21. A lot of you have been asking about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a review as soon as it came in. We just got these in a couple of days ago. So, show and, go ahead and uh, show you what you get in the packaging. Flashlight itself, we'll set that to the side. Here's the holster. Phoenix has recently gotten in the habit of stuffing everything in the holster, so it's kind of reach in there to pull everything out. Standard accessory stuff, you have spare parts, spare o-ring, spare uh, boot cover cap, lanyard. There's the holster. Someone asked me to start showing the holsters, so we'll show you how that works real quick. Put the light down in there, flap goes over the top, keeps it nice and secure. Then you have this on the back. You can attach it to your belt, your pack, however you want. And then you have another attachment point here for a carabiner, piece of rope, however you want to attach it. There's the instructions. Set all that to the side for now, and we'll show you the light. A little bit closer detail. We have the TK15 here. This is the TK21. I just wanted to show you the differences between the two. TK15, of course, has that Cree XPG LED in there. Cree XML in the TK21. It's a larger LED, so it needs that larger head and larger reflector to give it uh, any kind of decent throw but it's still gonna be kind of a wide, floody beam. You'll notice that the switches are a little bit different. One of my complaints about the TK-15 is when you had this in the dark, it was really kind of hard to find that switch, especially with gloved hands, but this one, really easy to find. You have these big flat surfaces on either side, and if you have your thumb on one side, your finger on the other, you just squeeze, and one of those two is gonna be hitting the switch. Other than that, they're pretty similar. I just wanted to show you the difference between the size and uh, all that. So those are the two lights. Let's put the TK-15 to the side for now. Let's talk a little bit more about the TK-21. Like I said, you have that Cree XML LED down in there. There's your switch on the back. It'll run on either an 18650 battery or two CR123s. So we're going to go ahead and stick a CR123 in there. I'll show you the interface, how everything works. The interface on the TK21 is really similar to the TK15 and some of their other dual switch lights, but they uh, pared it down a little bit so you don't have some of the extra modes that you had in the other lights. Switch on the rear, lightly press it, you get momentary, click it all the way, constant on. And as long as you're just hitting that switch in the back, it's not going to change modes on you. When you do want to change modes, have it on and hit the secondary switch up here by the head. And you can see it'll switch between four different outputs and it'll just cycle between those every time you hit it. Now it has flashing, one flashing mode as well. If you press and hold, it'll put you over into strobe. And in case you're wondering, if you turn it off, turn it back on, it's going to go out of that flashing mode. So you have to hit that button, hold it again, and that's how you get it back into your strobe mode. No other flashing modes. You can see if I hit the switch, it doesn't switch into strobe or, or uh, sorry, SOS or beacon flashing or anything like that just strobe on this one so there you go that is the interface of the TK21 we're gonna go and take this outside we'll take the TK15 as well and we'll show you how they do outside alright we're outside with the TK15 and TK21 got the big 40 mag light that I always use this is the shorter distance shot we'll do the longer distance one in here in just a second mag light first there's a little bush 15 feet tree out there at 100 feet All right, let's try out the other two lights. We will do the TK-15 first. You can see a whole lot of light coming out of that one. Nice, bright, focused, concentrated light in the hot spot. But uh, after you get out, I'd say probably around 80 yards, um, you start to lose a lot of the benefits of the spill. So you're relying mostly on that hot spot, which isn't a problem. It's definitely a good feature of this. You can light up a small area at once. A lot of people like that. If you prefer to light up a wider area, that's when you switch over to this guy, the TK21. We'll cycle through the different outputs on it, just so you can see how they do. There it is on the max output. I'll just leave it on that one. All right, let's zoom in on that tree a little bit. You see how nice and wide that hotspot is? Lights up a whole lot at once. 
So when you get out past the distances where the spill is useful, then uh, that large hot spot becomes really nice. You'll be able to illuminate more stuff at once. Alright, let's try this out at longer distances and see how it does. Okay, we're back here with the TK15, TK21. Big 40 mag light. Let's try out the mag light first. House 50 yards, tree at 100 yards. Can't really see the tree. Let's try those Phoenix lights, see if they do any better. Uh, of course they do. So TK15, not really meant to be a, a super thrower, but you can see 50 yards, of course no problem. Even 100 yards lights up the tree pretty well. All right, let's try out the TK21, see how it does. Cycle through the different outputs real quick. You can see really good throw on this one too. That's that tree at 100 yards, big pine tree in the front yard. Lights up all the details really, really well. And you can see it has a nice big hot spot on it. So we'll do them side by side real quick. This is going to be the TK21 over here on the right, TK15 on the left. Pretty good beams on both of them. Pretty solid throw on either light. So there you go. That is the new Phoenix TK21. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We do stuff like this all the time.